In this video, we're going to do another Operation Big Sur event for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we're doing another uh, mudslide event thing. What, what's it called again? Hang on a second. It's called Operation Big Sur. Uh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Uh, it's a pretty big event at the moment that is going on to clear a landslide uh, of, you know, the dirt and stuff that's there. Uh, there's machinery that needs moving. There's heaps of stuff. So, basically, uh, it, since it's a community event as well, uh, it is going off like frogs and socks. Uh, we tried to do it on multiplayer and only get got one, of, uh, one job done within a matter of, like, two and a half hours, something like that, three hours and uh it was crazy so i've decided to do it all in single player now this is number run number three so out of 15 so you have to do 15 in total um as we we have a look here uh up the top is our progress number two and this is number three so uh where are we off to today well we are going back to the mudslide we are starting at the same place in san francisco where we dropped off our last load and we're going straight back to drop off a digger so there you go that should be uh, pretty straightforward and simple so let's get on the road and get it done shall we doing our uh, well I tried to do a tug test just then hang on is he gonna let us do it there we go there's our tug test make sure that trailer's attached and then off we go now let's see we have it is an excavator 19 tons so um, the idea of this is not the distance but the tonnage so try and carry the biggest load you can guys and this is uh, the Peterbilt 389 custom this truck is awesome it really is a whole ton of fun uh, especially with the long chassis on there, it is extremely hard to, you know, get around these corners and that. The chassis gives it that extra, extra challenge, which I love. I love to have that extra challenge. And, uh, I, you know what, I just thought about it. I didn't change that, uh, that chick with the book. She's got the book there and it's still in the road. I can't see that damn mirror. <laughs> it's annoying, but I'm just going to have to live with it. Oh, yeah. Easy. That is way out. I thought it was going to have trouble getting around there. And just... We're going to turn left here and go out of here problem is I can't see past that mirror that's see that's like massive big blind spot right there I got a blind spot there I got a blind spot there it's like terrible there we go now um I would show you the update for the community, but uh, since I'm doing a, a whole heap of recording, pre-recording on the weekend, it's sort of uh, I'll probably I'll show you next week an update. It was last at 220,000 tons that have been delivered, so uh, of 500,000, so so that is a, a lot done in the first week so I can see that it's going to be smashed in it's easily going to be done for the, for the community so maybe they should have made it a million that would have been like uh, definitely uh, a real feat of, a, of, of achievement for the community a million tons of uh, of dirt shifted actually it may get to that there's a good chance it could get to that in the lifespan a million tons shifted why not I mean every every load that you deliver counts and you can go over the limit as well you don't have to stop at 15 
there's people that have been doing you know 21 and 20 loads already in the first weekend so by all means jump in there and, and give it a good old whack guys me i just love driving so it's right up my alley delivering it doesn't matter if i'm delivering shifting dirt or if i'm shifting um the machinery doesn't matter it's all good fun for me but 15 of these i'm really thinking about doing another live stream but maybe doing it in single player might be uh might be the idea that way, that way we can get in here and get a lot of these loads done in one go Um, but you can see that the miles really do kick over in this so they've only just started and they're already kicking over just having a look at something quickly yep that's fine just wanted to make sure that I was actually recording because sometimes I push record and it doesn't record <laughs> So this is, I love these events, especially for American Truck Simulator. They really need to make more events where the community gets in to, to come to one goal. I love that. I think it's great. And, um, you know, it goes to show that how strong the American Truck Simulator community is where they're all get all pitching in and having a go at getting it done. So, and there was um, a multiplayer, you know, most people were waiting in waiting their turn for the actual, the, to pick up their load. So, basically it was like real life, really. You're all waiting around to get loaded up and pick up your load, just like real life. So, it was a really good uh, experience for a lot of players. There were, there's quite a lot of people who didn't like it didn't like waiting around but that's life son that is basically what you have to do as a, as a driver you gotta wait for your load to be loaded and uh, I'm gonna put that trailer brake on there we go just lean on that trailer while we trying to get around this corner go nice very nice whoops missed gear that's my shifter I'm I have this trouble going from driving a real truck to this truck is a lot different because I can't one I can't feel the gears uh, and two it sometimes slips out of gear for some reason is that have we got a green light or not now we got a red. Lucky I stopped. Now we got a green. And now we need to get in that lane there. So after this truck. There we go. And then we're going to go for the nice long climb up the hill. And uh, with a large load, well 20 tons is not really a large load, but with a heavy load, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. And got a green so that's good he's going up to get a big load as well get a get this uh, this whatever it is is he no he's probably not he's going around the other side 
I love these big heavy loads. I love it. Gives me a little chubby. <laughs> the bigger the loads, the better. There we go. It's stopping nicely. And uh, just trying to get this guy to, to go. And he's waiting for the light. And up we go, up the mountain. Fifty five up here. I don't know if we're going to be able to do the speed limit, but I damn sure I'm going to try. Up we go, up the long climb. The best part of this um, this event is the scenery, I think. I think the scenery is just awesome. Now I'm going to try and see if I can take a photo. I don't know if I will be able to or not. Get a nice one anyway, try to. Let's see, that should be a nice spot there. Let's see what it's... Uh... Oh, we got the sun behind us. That's no good. No, that's not really a very good shot at all, but we'll see how we go. Maybe I might be able to fix that up in Photoshop. We'll see. Try another one. I'll, I'll go take some, some more photos uh, as we get around. Problem is I got the sun directly behind me. Try that there. Maybe that might be a bit better. Photo mode. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. There we go. And we get rid of that blur strength. That is a lot better. That awesome Peterbilt Custom. This was a very, very popular mod. Um, and even won the weekly drive. And it's been very, very popular since. So if you haven't had a go of it, I suggest you do. Just let the truck uh, gears do the work. try and go up and see if I can go a bit quicker because uh, it might take us a bit might take us too long if we uh, don't don't go a bit quicker if it was me driving during the day um, in real life I would just let it just cruise cruise around because I wouldn't want to push the truck too hard because that means if I push the truck too hard it means I break it but in the game, it doesn't matter so much because uh, you can push the truck really hard. It's not going to break it. There's that guy again. He's had that accident from last time. up into the next gear see if we can rip around these corners a little bit quicker and 
there's the uh, the scenery is absolutely beautiful out here it's what makes this event really nice Fifty miles off forty through here, is it? We're doing fifty. Meant to be forty. We'll slow it down. Keep it in six high. I thought it was actually fifty five through here, that's why I was going fifty trying to get up to fifty five, but it's not. And there we go, ride that uh, compression brake down the hill. Not going too fast again. There we go, We've got another 14 miles to go. So you can see how easy this is. If you just keep going back and forth, back and forth, I mean, it's it's so easy. 15 loads go so quick. And what's that? Yep, Big Sur landslide road closed. Yep. But it's good to see that with this event, uh, they've actually put a little road going around the outside, which is really good. Road closed. Uh, when I first came up here doing my first job, I was a bit worried that there wasn't going to be a road around the outside. That you'd get a load that would take you up the other section, you know, to higher up the mountain, and, uh, up the, you know, up California. And then you'd be you know doing like a it's normally it would be a you know 150 kilometer or 150 mile run but it would take you about 300 to 400 just to get up there but thank goodness the SES put a, a little road around here for you to get up little side road all right well there is our drop-off point and I need to get it in there somehow so that's going to be interesting I'll just uh, try to tuck it in here. And am I going to get around there? Yeah, it just gets around there. See, how on earth am I going to get it into there? <laughs> This is going to be a bit of trick, tricky, tricky truck driving. This, this is. I think I probably should have um, dro driven in the other way. So let's try and back this in, back this this way. All right. Now I'll see if I can back it down. And then I'll um, I'll drive it in the other way from what I was going to do because that yeah it wasn't going to work. Now I know that I have to come in this way by the looks of it. Okay. Let's spin it round over here. This is still going to be an interesting challenge because look, I have to tuck that trailer in there. It's still going to be interesting. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Oh. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, man. It's going to be 
a bit hard with this chassis. Spin that around and try and get it a bit further down, but it's not turning. This is full lock. Look at this. I am full lock at the moment. One of the problems with a long chassis is exactly this. It just keeps turning and turning and turning and turning. This is going to be um, interesting. That's as far as I can go. I just I can't get that tail in. Look at that. I'm missing it by miles. Oh, man. This, yeah, this is this is terrible. This is really bad for backing this in. Really bad. I'm gonna have to try and swing this out. Well, that's gonna scrape now. I'm hitting the. I'm hitting everywhere. It helps my engines on. Um, yeah, uh, this is, this is really interesting predicament. Okay, so I've got to try and keep that truck straighter than normal. There we go. So that's going in. But now I have to go forward and straighten it up. And then I just got to spin it a bit. No, it's... Alright, let's go forward and back it straight back again. Alright. Try and reverse this in and hopefully this should be it now. There we go, it's accepted it, yay. It's a little bit crooked, but that's fine. <laughs> At least it's in there. So you can see with the longer chassis, it's really, really harder to back it in there. You need a short little cab over to just to swing it around there nicely. And there we go. And is that going to give it to us? Yes, it is number three. That is our third, our third delivery, which is really, really cool. So there we go, guys. Um, look, I hope you enjoyed this little drive. Um, we're going to do some more of these, and I might even try and do a, a next weekend, do a live stream, but in single player. Um, so that way you guys can, uh, you know, hang out, and we can have a chat and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, but, yeah, that is pretty much all you have to do is just drive there and back with, you know, delivery. So to the, the uh, landslide, and back to somewhere else and and that's it you can do it over and over and over again the same destination over and over again if you want so very simple and try and grab the um, most heaviest loads because that is uh, what's going to add to the community event and it uh, helps the community in the long run so um, so yeah and uh, 
that's it. Very simple, guys. Well, uh, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.